About my experience two years ago. <laughs> Hi, I am now standing in front of the National Planetarium at Jalan Perdana. Have you been here before? No? Nope? Well, come along with me then. This is my first trip too. <laughs> It's going to be interesting. I am sure. Oh, what are you waiting for? Let's go! <coughs> now, this is the entrance and... Oh, oh that is the guard. Should I go first? Hmm, here? Hmm, there? There! Wah! At last, I'm here! I can't wait to get my hands on that telescope! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Never mind. That was two years ago. Now, <laughs> I present you, ladies and gentlemen, with my latest invention. The ultimate super gloop 2X1001 telescope. Focusing on the sun. <laughs> no wonder my eyes are so painful. Hmm, it's the sun. Oh, talking about the sun. Did you know that the sun is the biggest object and located at the center of the solar system? The sun is approximately 5 billion years old. Ah, and like all other stars, the sun will also lose its energy and eventually die. <laughs> the sun is the nearest star to the earth. It is approximately 149.6 million kilometers away. The sun is the most important object in the solar system where life on earth is concerned. The huge mass of the sun causes it to have a large force of gravity. This causes all other objects in the solar system to orbit around it.
<laughs> the sun rotates on its own axis and takes 25 and one third days to complete one rotation. The sun's atmosphere is made up of three layers. The corona, the chromosphere, and the photosphere. The corona is the outermost layer of the atmosphere. It can only be seen during a total eclipse of the sun. The corona is made up of a thin layer of gas. The temperature of the corona is approximately 2 million degrees Celsius. Ooh. The chromosphere is between the photosphere and the corona. It has a width of approximately 5,000 kilometers. Like the corona, the chromosphere can only be seen as a reddish region during a total eclipse of the sun. The chromosphere is made up of low density gases such as hydrogen and helium. It has a temperature of between 4000 degrees Celsius and 50,000 degrees Celsius. The photosphere is the layer of atmosphere that can be seen clearly from the Earth. It can be seen because it is made up of burning gases that emit light. It has a width of approximately 400 kilometers and its temperature is approximately 1000 degrees Celsius. Ooh. Aha! I have told you about the layers of the sun. Now let's look at its surface. There are three major phenomena that can be observed on the surface of the sun sunspots, flares, and prominences. Spots are dark patches on the surface of the sun. They appear dark because they are cooler than other parts of the surface of the sun. Yep, it's a bit cooler here. <laughs> Sunspots are caused by magnetic fields that slow down the flow of heat from the sun's center. Spots may last for a period ranging from a few hours to a few months. They generally occur in pairs or groups. Huh, there. Do you know what? That is, flares are bursts of light that last for a few minutes and can reach temperatures of up to 
5 million degrees Celsius. That's right, 5 million degrees Celsius. Woo! Flares are normally accompanied by spurts of hot gases and burning particles. Ouch! Some of the burning particles may reach the Earth's atmosphere. These particles may cause disturbances to radio communication systems. What? Huh? 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 Whoa! That is beautiful. The particles also cause the sky near the poles to become colorful. This effect is called aurora. Gases may escape into outer space, but most of them are pulled back to the chromosphere by the sun's gravity. The stream of gases that escape the sun's gravity is called solar wind. is created deep within the core of the sun. It is here that the temperature and the pressure is so intense that nuclear reactions take place. The reaction is called nuclear fusion. Four hydrogen atoms combine to form one helium atom and energy is released in the process. The energy generated is carried to the surface of the sun through a process called convection, where it is released as light and heat. The sun is the main source of light and heat energy that is needed by all living things on Earth. use light energy from the sun to make food through photosynthesis. Animals get the heat energy they need to keep warm by exposing themselves to the sun. The heat energy from the sun causes changes in temperatures, humidity, atmospheric pressure and other factors that influence the weather on earth. The differences in the quality of light received by different parts of the Earth cause the four seasons. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Differences in sea temperature and land temperature cause sea breeze, land breeze, and wind. Explain to you about the sun. Let's look again at what we have learned. We have learned that our five billion year old sun is located at the center of the solar system and is the biggest object in it. This huge mass causes a large force of gravity and makes all objects in the solar system orbit around it. 
We have also learned that there are three layers of atmosphere around the sun. The corona, the chromosphere, and the photosphere. There are also three major phenomena on the surface of the sun. They are sunspots, flags, and proxies. We have also learned how the sun generates its energy to become the main source of light and heat energy for living things on Earth. Now you know about the sun. It is wise to find out as much as we can about our universe. It's really a fun thing to do. <laughs> Ooh, hey! How about exploring other objects in space? Let's take a look at what else is out there. What is that? It looks familiar. Is it an alien? Oh no! Oh, no! An alien! Oh! Oh! Is that the same robo guard that I met two years ago? What is he doing up there? Oh! Um, hello! Um, what? Um, oh? Uh, okay! Uh, yes, yes, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yep, yeah. yeah, okay, hello, <laughs> okay, I see, sorry, <laughs> thank you, bye. I'm sorry guys, we cannot explore this part of space yet. But we'll do it in our next episode. Okay, we'll meet again soon. <laughs>